What's up, party people? Today we are going to be checking out Nine Dragons. This is a not a new game, but it was uh, a new server was released on Papaya Play's platform, and I'm just going to be kind of taking a first look at it here and seeing what I think. Um, the only reason that I'm even checking this out is because I know that the GM team from Papaya Play that was running the uh, uh, that was running Decron. Um, when Decron switched publishers, they moved to this game, and I kind of like the GM team, so I thought I would give Nine Dragons a try. I will say right now, I, before hearing about this release, I have never heard of this game. I know it was released in 2007, but I had never heard of it before, and I have never played it before. So I really know absolutely nothing about it, so this is just a, uh, a fresh impression of an old game that um, I, I have never heard of. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to create a character. We're going to be Moser RS. I'll be a male. Oh, I don't really care what I look like, so I'm probably just going to do the default, and we're going to go ahead and create the character. And we're going to hit yes. Um, then generated. Oh, I guess you don't, like, select a class or anything during your character creation. That's kind of interesting. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure how this works, so uh, let's go ahead and get this started. Bamboo Village. Okay. Oh, hi, where do I start here? Uh, welcome to the land of martial arts chivalry. Um, I might feel unfamiliar, yes, uh, but when you meet people and help them solve their problems with the help of your mini-map markers, you should soon feel right at home. May the dragon smile upon you and its seed within you blossom. I don't know if I want a dragon putting its seed within me. That sounds kind of upsetting, but uh, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just ignore that for now. All right, looks like I got some type of a reward here. Um, I did pre-register, so I'm guessing that I'm going to get some stuff from that so how do i okay here we go enter the dragon trade um the same reward you cannot okay yes so i'm gonna get my reward and then my pre-registration rewards for joining papaya play as well um this doesn't seem to do anything so we'll move on from there so overall movement um Oh, so this is... Is this not a WASD game? I guess not. Okay. Uh, can still learn Kung Fu. Who trains in the village located? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm not even trying to do quests yet. I'm just trying to master the movement. So it looks like you move around by clicking. I guess there... Or can you... Let's check out the... Uh, let's, let's check out the control settings here. Not system settings. Is, is there a control settings? No. Game settings. Here we go. Mm. Game guide. Camera shake effect on. Um, I don't see anything about that. So I guess I guess we just move around by clicking. So we'll get a little bit of a like a path of exile feel here. Okay, um, so on my map, I see that I have to go here. I think the first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to check out these rewards. So I've got a new player gift box. So let's go ahead and open this. Um, we got Nine Dragons Premium Box, 15 day. I'm guessing that's like their previous service, an XP bonus card, guild voucher, and honor student. I have no idea what any of this is. Um, Papaya Vagabond, I don't know what that is. XP bonus card, Courier's Guild voucher, and Honor Student. I, I, I don't know what these are. What's the Vagabond? Uh, weapon damage increased by 10%, gold drop rate, level up faster. So I'm guessing this is like the uh, little buff that I'm getting. We're just going to go with that. Uh, XP bonus card. I think I'm just going to move this over to the side. Okay. Uh, so there's my Nine Dragon uh, premium box 15 day. So we'll go ahead and we'll open this up. Because why not? So it looks like we got some Lion's Roar of the Land... I don't know if these are like buffs or crafting items or anything. I really have no idea. Um, aspiring Master Pack. Check this out. I don't really get. How do I open this? 
this. I guess I can open. Oh, I can. The way you like open stuff seems kind of weird. Item XP bonus card. Okay. I don't seem to be getting any, like, equipments or anything like that. It just seems to be, like, buff items from what I'm getting here. Um, Nine Dragons premium box, 30 day. I think I, I already did, like, a 15 day or something, right? So I don't think I'm going to open that. And then box of many faces. Costume exchange ticket. That sounds cool. I don't know where I use that. Um, and then we'll do another box of mini faces. Costume exchange tickets. Okay. So I have those. I don't know what they do. Here's my 15 day premium. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. Lions roar the land. You'll be able to shout for one minute. No. I don't know what that did. Okay, so it's like some type of a buff. Honors student. Do you want to read this tome? I don't know what reading the tome is doing, but we're, we're just gonna... Oh, uh, learning a routine. Alright, I need to stop messing around with this stuff and actually play the game, guys. So, we're gonna go ahead. It looks like my first quest is right here. Uh, I don't know if there's an easier way to converse. I guess we just click. Uh, so, first encounter, talk. Um... I'm not going to read through all of this. I mean, I am reading it, but I'm not going to sit here and read it all loud. Uh, think about it. My family moved here when my grandma was just a girl. Is it just me or does he keep saying the same thing over and over again? Resource? Oh, I'm super confused right now. Isn't that, doesn't this guy have, like, a quest for me or something? For, oh, maybe I have to click on the actual quest. Okay, that was my problem. I was just doing, like, his generic talking. Um, do you know anything about... No, I know nothing about the attributes. So your attributes are strength, essence, wisdom, constitution, dexterity. The number of attributes you can distribute is limited depending on your achievement level, so you need to be careful. Before joining a clan, you should distribute your points to strength, dexterity... And the number of attributes is limited. Okay. So I can come here. So I'm just going to go, like, how do I? Can I distribute them? Oh, I see. You, like, type it in here, maybe? Let's just put, we'll put five into strength for now. Okay. Okay. Did that work? Yeah, okay. Uh, so I did that. Is this what he wanted me to do? Distribute your remaining points and then come talk to me. Oh, I have to do all of them. Okay. I don't really know where to put them. Attack rate. So I think I'm going to do dex. We'll do, we'll do five into strength, five into dex for now. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I keep trying to move with the WASD key. Uh, okay. So you've distributed all your attributes. Uh, when your achievement level rises, not only your attributes, but mastery is also gained. Mastery helps the hero use the weapon or kung fu better. That is why most heroes raise their mastery after selecting the clan and their weapon, even though you just made me do it now. Um, press oh, D to check your mastery. Okay. So I checked my mastery. So you got staff, pole arm, sword, or axe. Interesting. Oh, yeah, so wheels, spear, saber, dagger. So it looks like there's a lot of different gloves. So it looks like there's a lot of different ways you can go. I do not have any points here. Um, oh, yeah, bamboo, yada, yada. When you shout, okay. You can use Heavenly Voice Amplifier to speak to heroes who are at a similar level as you are. Okay. Oh, 
I I guess I love I leveled up or something. Achievement levels show how much you have learned, trained, and used your kung fu. There are currently 18 achievement levels, and each level has 12 changs. An example of how your achievement level is displayed: Chang 12 is losing self. When you surpass Chang 12 of each level, you can ascend to the next level through a new level of chi blessing uh, or breathing. Okay. If you fail your lesson, you can not ascend to the next achievement level. Oh, interesting. Papaya vagabond. Anyway, what are these question marks here? Oh, mastery. Mastery is a measurement of achievement in a category, kung fu. Yeah, right. So when you're leveling your stuff, that pops up. Okay. Receiving a weapon. All right. Nameless elders have heard uh, about my story, and he wishes to see you. He is a legend among kung fu heroes. Why don't you go say hi to him? He's in the inner part of the village. Okay. We'll do. Um, is there like a map? Just saying, I have to go here. So we are on our way to this guy. Where do I have to go? I think I go down this way. Oh, I'm running into a tree. Okay. The game doesn't actually look terrible. I mean, obviously it's an older game, but it doesn't it doesn't like look horrible. I'm pretty sure this game was developed by or was also a claim, right? Same as Decron. So cuz I definitely get some kind of Decron vibes when playing this game. So, let's talk to this guy. Uh, available quest helping the alchemy. Have you seen my hat around? You're wearing it. Yes. I make elixirs called... Uh, confirm. I should have paid attention to that. What am I supposed to do? Uh, I kind of clicked through that and I didn't see what I was supposed to do. My grandson is made far. I wonder what village he's living in now. want me to do here joining a clan maybe I'm supposed to do that oh I was supposed to go talk to this elder I think okay we're gonna go do that so it's just receiving a weapon I I think I definitely need a weapon how do I use this skill? Looks like that like makes me go forward. Oh. You must choose combat or peace mode during play. You can only attack in combat mode and you can only in peace mode. You can toggle between combat by pressing the tab key. Your current mode is displayed. So that's combat mode. That's peace mode. It looks like I have like a like a running skill here though. I don't I don't know how to use it though. Whatever. Um, we're gonna go talk to the nameless elder because I think I'm gonna get a weapon from him. Maybe I need to read more of those. Other clans will be hostile to me. Chi Kong is a kung fu that uses vital energy. Chi Kong, you will need time to accumulate vital energy and also find use like Chi. Okay, I don't know what that is. If you wish to train on kung fu, you've learned you should train them. For active kung fu, you can train the kung fu training ground. I don't, I don't think we're at that point yet. 
All right, receiving a weapon. Have you helped uh, helped her without hesitation? Yes, I, I definitely did something. No problem at all. Before you came to the village to join one of the six clans, is there any clan that you have in mind? I'm leaning towards the Imperial Clan or the Infernal Clan. I have no idea what any of these are. We'll go with Imperial Clan. League of Beggars, uh, Shaolin, the League, or Wu-Tang. Oh, yeah, we're definitely joining the Wu-Tang. Just because it has a funny name. So we're joining Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang uses swords and fists. What weapon would you like to use? Uh... I guess we'll do a sword. I don't know. These weapons are suited for your achievement level. Okay. A uh, new quest has appeared. Please check the map. Oh, probably the same guy, right? Basic sword attack. Now that you have your weapon, it's time to learn the Kung Fu suited for your weapon. I've dispatched disciples. I get a sword. How do I equip it? Oh. You can use available weapon, but required weapons are determined for each Kung Fu technique. If you're using a weapon that's designated above your achievement level, its durability will be easily reduced, and the ability such as the weapon will be greatly diminished. Okay. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go to the question mark over here. So if I go into uh, combat mode, can I see my sword? No. Where's my sword? there i don't see it but apparently i have a sword equipped it's my new training sword basic sword attack i understand there are two swords kung fu they're used by vagabonds Basic sword attack and smashing sword attack. You may learn both of them from me. Learn basic sword attack or smashing sword attack and then talk to me. Talk to clan disciple. Basic sword attack. Just because you learn kung fu doesn't mean that you can use it right away. You need to train yourself to make, uh, in order to equip, start training, you need to equip a weapon. Equip the weapon you've received from the Nameless Elder and then talk to me. Uh, I've already equipped it, so we should be good to go. Equip the, okay, I guess maybe it wants me to, maybe it wants me to unequip it and then re-equip it. Yep, all right, that worked. Uh, master the basic sword attack. There's a wooden figure in front of me for training purposes. Train the basic sword attack and talk to me. Press the tab key to switch to battle mode. Click on the wooden figure while in battle mode to learn your kung fu. Oh, some notice is happening. Start Kung Fu training. Yes. Okay, the blue circle represents your focus. Left click when the circle is inside the red area. Um, okay. Just left click, right? Start training. Select a Kung Fu technique to train. Uh, it's... How do I select one? I don't see any techniques here. If you register a Kung Fu skill in a quick slot, do I have to like... I know basic meditation and cruising along. Where do I learn basic sword attack? I don't know what this is. Go away. Uh, is it in here? Sword mastery? No. Oh. Increase sword mastery to one? Yes, maybe. Since I'm using swords. I don't know what any of these hotkeys do. What, I, what? How do I do this? Basic sword attack. Train basic sword attack and then talk to me. I want to train basic sword attack. I went to the train. Th yes, start training. 
Looks like I have to have it like in my quick slot, maybe. How do I view my skills? Purchase inventory, marketplace, basic information. Mastery. Combat record. Kung Fu. Kung Fu Vagabond. I, have, I feel like basic sword attack. Now you have a weapon, it's time to learn basic sword attack. Yeah, that's, that's where I am. Oh, there's auto navigation? That's kind of interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing. Maybe this guy will give me my... Ah, here it is. Basic fist. Basic hand maneuver. Okay, so it's not this guy. So that's a Shaolin disciple. So I'm guessing I have to talk to another disciple somewhere in order to get it. Oh, maybe, maybe it's this guy over here. Learn Kung Fu. Basic fist. Basic staff. Smashing fist, but I need basic basic sword attack, right? Um, maybe did oh maybe I'm maybe this guy has it and I'm just crazy. Hold on, yeah, learn kung fu. Ah, basic. Here we go. Basic sword attack. Okay. Jeez, that took me so long. Sorry guys, I'm I'm new to this and no offense, but the explanation is not fantastic. Okay, so now I know basic sword attack. Oh, I'm in combat mode, so someone's attacking me. Um, so I learned basic sword attack. Now I need to equip it. Right? Or actually, maybe it'll, maybe it'll be available for me now. There it is. Basic sword attack, start training. Okay. So I just have to keep doing this, apparently. Level two. Well, what level do I have to get this to? Well, this is exciting. It'd be more fun if you were like, actually fighting something versus just like like clicking in the middle here of Zenith. What's this like person that's following me? Timid Moonblade kid? Completed training basic sword attack. Nice. So does that mean I can use this skill now? What is this thing? Why is it attacking me? It's level 3? How do I attack it? Nice. I, uh... I killed something that was attacking me. Okay, I don't know what these notices are that keep popping up, but, like, they're annoying and I can't get rid of them right away. Okay, basic sword attack. You made the basic sword attack yours. Uh, how much one trains the kung fu changes how much damage it can deal, such as make sure you train train it all the way. Okay. Um, you can store learned kung fu's in your quick slide. Oh, there we go. One. So now I know basic sword attack. Nice. And then didn't he want me to learn another skill too? Smashing sword attack, right? Yes. So we're going to learn that as well. 
and then we'll go train it. What is happening? No, I don't want to change area. Okay. I'm like, I'm obviously hitting some type of weird window over here. I don't want to be over here. Oh my gosh, old games, you know? Okay. So we're gonna learn smashing, smashing sword attack. Oh, except apparently I can't. Do I have to keep training this one? Hmm. Or not? Alright, whatever. I, I guess I'll just keep going down the quest line. Quest. Okay. I deliver someone their lunchbox. That sounds exciting. Which is down here. Still trying to figure out how to use this. Uh... Looks like I have like a speed thing. I just. Oh, there we go. Now it's quick slotted. So if I. Channeling technique. Uh. Lightfoot. All right, there we go. Lightfoot is a mind-body control technique that allows you to move very quickly over a great distance. You can activate it by clicking the icon in the quick slot and pressing the alt key. Okay. Alt. Oh, maybe I have to hold. I have to hold the alt key. All right. So this is so this is how you move quicker. It looks a little silly, but uh, it does make getting around a little easier. That's pretty nice. Uh, daughter's delivering it. Yes. Um, since you were using Lightfoot, I assume you are a warrior. Um, since the six clans have reopened ten years ago, I've been seeing people like you often. Um, please tell so and so that I will enjoy this. Really, you just want me to go over there? <sighs> These notices are super annoying. Okay. So two alts, hold alts. Okay. Here we go. Look at me. I'm like a ninja. I wonder if you get like multiple like running skills or if it's just like always oh, this one. Not really sure what to expect. I do like that I can move around faster now though. For being an older game, it's nice that they have that system. In a lot of older games, like you just have to run around slowly. So. Okay. Anyway, uh, as you reach the twelfth Chang of achievement level, you'll need to reroute your chi before moving on to the next achievement level. We call it chi breathing. Do you know anything about chi breathing? Uh, no. Tell me about chi breathing. Uh, you should just try it. Perform chi breathing and then talk to me. Chi breathing. Uh, unlocks the chakras of your body and soul, raising you to a new stage of enlightenment. It works as follow. Yang, left click. Yin, right click. Neutral, left plus right. Follow the marker. Clicking is shown above. You can't move during chi breathing. Chi breathing consumes vital energy. You're very vulnerable to attack. If you attack, you'll receive an internal wound. Um, find a safe location before you begin. Oh, oh, yeah. I think I'm safe here. So, left click is white, right click is black. Yeah, we'll go from there. So. Oh, this is interesting. Nice. I think I, I think I did it right, right? Did I unlock something? I'm not sure. Uh, basic meditation is the most frequently used chi breathing method. Anyone who tries to join the six clans probably knows basic meditation already. Once you have mind coordination, you can recover health and vitality through meditation. Uh, continue. Huh. Interesting. 
Well, guys, I think that is going to be it for uh, this video. Uh, I, was, I was just trying to get a first impression of this. And, uh, yeah, the first, like, 30 minutes or so of the game, I'm not even killing anything yet. So um, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to play this game for a bit. And then uh, after that, I think I'll be able to give you guys a better kind of impression of, um, you know, what this game is and what it has to offer. Four Guardians box. I guess we'll check this out first, and then... Oh, well, I don't have it. Right? Four Guardians box? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, first impression is that uh, it's an old game, and obviously people who have played it probably are very comfortable with the game. I mean, that's how like I am with Decron. Like, the tutorial is pretty bad. It doesn't really explain how the game works. Um, and this one is... I mean, it's okay, but uh, I'm definitely struggling a little bit to learn how the game works and i'm just gonna have to play it for a while to get into it um but yeah i mean i, I, I don't know for like an older clunky game i guess it's okay and uh probably at least, at least worth checking out